Here we are, Zone Holographic Studios, North Hollywood. This is a pulsed camera or a pulsed holographic setup. We've got a pulsed laser here and we've got a bunch of collimated mirrors. These are mirror mirrors that are concave that collimate the light. We've got beam splitters, a variety of, of different components. Here's the laser. We've got a the amplifier and the oscillator, the two, two rubies that are part of this camera as it fires. This laser is capable of taking an image in 25 billionths of a second. That's faster than you can blink. In that time, while that flash lamp is going off and that rod is being excited, the laser lases and puts out a chunk of light which goes down in a sense this detector is out of the way the light goes down hits this mirror moves around this mirror goes through a pinhole focuses through this amplifying ruby rod this is a rod that's twice as long and twice as big in diameter and then what comes out of here is a ruby pulse about the size of your little finger and where it goes from here is it goes into this optic system some of it hits this mirror and goes down what's not in here right now is a beam splitter some of the light off this beam splitter goes up through this lens, through this mirror, it hits this mirror and comes out as a column. Goes up to that mirror and comes down to where the film would be mounted. And uh, it's kind of interesting to think, when this laser fires, there's this, this 19 feet of light traveling through all these mirrors, very, very, very fast of course, but it's going around and filling up the whole room with light going all over the place. It's a pretty exciting experience when they go off. And what's neat about this, and, and what you can do with these mirrors also, I've designed systems where these mirrors can be taken out of this and put on the optics table so that they're interchangeable. And by using these mirrors in these situations, you can reduce or enlarge or change the image size that you have. This, this camera is an amazing. What happens in this kind of holography, all of a sudden when you move into this holography, a whole kind of my, new mindset comes over you, a whole way of thinking, where, if, where you can spend years thinking about how, how you're going to get this isolated weight of non-moving isolation tables, tons of weight sitting there with all these complicated optical components and figuring out how to use them. This is a very freeing and liberating experience because you don't have to worry about stability. What you have to worry about is using too much film and how you can afford to pay for this thing.